Imagine a buffet so rare that it is only offered one day a year. Imagine a buffet so rare that there's a very select number of seats available at that one day a year that you have to buy tickets weeks in advance for. That is what we're going to today. I think this is probably the most elusive, rarest buffet in America. And it's at a furniture store. A furniture store that people really kind of, let's say, mm, criticize a lot. And it's known for, well, being cheap, but hard to assemble. Guys, we're going to the Ikea Buffet. Did you know Ikea had a buffet? It's called the Jewel Board or Jewel Board. It is a Christmas buffet they offer one day a year for like three hours. So, I mean, it's pretty hard to get to. It's pretty elusive at select locations. And again, you got to buy your tickets in advance, etc. So I don't know much more besides that. It is about $20, um, 17 if you're a member of some sort, but otherwise $20 for the general public. It is offered uh, just before Christmas. I have no clue what they have to offer, but it is Swedish. Obviously, Ikea being Swedish company. This is all supposed to be Swedish food. Uh, apparently, they got some music. Apparently, they have some special drinks, some special items. So let's go see what this holiday Christmas buffet has to offer. Literally, the rarest buffet in America at Ikea. So Ikea buffet, let's see what they got. I'm excited. Let's go eat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So we just got sat and it appears you just go. I don't know if you grab plates and uh, let's figure it out. But it looks like they kind of like the standard setup and then you just take as you want. Here we got dessert, we got some salmon. Ooh, that looks really good. So there's some herring and mustard sauce. We have some shrimp. We have this, which is dill cured salmon, which I'm totally going to try. Some dill sauce. We have some dill pickled herring as well. Some uh, uh, potato salad. We got some meatballs. We have some. What, what kind of salmon is that? Regular salmon. Regular salmon. Sure, I'll try a piece of salmon. I'll try a couple of meatballs. Then we have a gravy, a pumpkin sauce, potatoes, and roasted or cooked cabbage. Then we have roasted potatoes with a caper and dill sauce. We have a lovely looking what they call Christmas ham. We got deviled eggs with a caviar and a shrimp on top and then on the bread bar. Here's all the bread options with a lindenberry fruit spread. We also have a blue cheese and smothered cheese. We got a beet salad and we got some uh, marinated cucumbers. Then we have some snowballs. We have some gingerbread cookies. We have whatever that is. We have some more Swedish cookies, some raisins, some rice pudding. We have some mulled fruit drink, some delicious looking something, and all the sweets. Then they have coffee um, and a couple sodas, such as diet. All right, around, so we got some items. Looks pretty cool. It's quite a limited selection of anything, but Swedish food. So, to start, I got some cucumber salad. I got some of the beet salad. I got a deviled egg with a, uh, supposed to be like a caviar on it. I got the Christmas ham. Got some of the Dijon mustard and the uh, kind of caper and dill sauce they had also there. Then I have, which looks amazing, the dill cured salmon. I definitely love salmon, I'm excited for that. I got some of their potatoes, which is like a kind of like shredded potato um, with cream in it. And then we have the cabbage, which is a kind of, I guess, vinegar and oil cooked cabbage. I got two of their meatballs with the gravy on it. And I got the salmon, just the regular baked salmon with the pumpkin sauce on it. I'm excited to try it. So let's see what Swedish food, one of the most exclusive and hard to come by buffets in America is all about. Try this. Cucumber salad, some dill on it. Mm. There's definitely a bit of vinegar in that. It's quite sweet. It reminds me of kind of a southern style, we'll say, cucumber salad. 
There's definitely a lot of dill in it. And it's surprisingly sweet. Try this beet salad. Very good. So the sweet beet. And definitely a mayonnaise. So you get that like acidity. But in addition to that acidity, you have a very richness. It's kind of like, because it balances it out. Try this deviled egg. It ain't bad. It tastes like a deviled egg. So try this holiday ham. So this holiday ham, there's these little baked things with it, which I'll see what they're about. It's like a seasoned bread. And with the ham, it is kind of uh, got a bit of a crusting on it, which is kind of interesting. So try it without, I'm try it with two sauces. Exactly what you'd expect. It's a ham. It tastes good. Try the mustard. Ham and mustard. Let's try the capers and dill. That's a really nice sauce. Very, very rich. You don't need more than a bite of that. Not bad. Let's try this baked salmon. So we got the baked salmon here with the pumpkin sauce on it. Really, really, really moist cooked salmon. Ooh, moist cooked salmon. I don't get much of a pumpkin. Actually, to be honest, I don't really get any flavor from that sauce. Mostly just the actual flavor from the uh, salmon itself. Try meatball with the gravy. So I haven't had one of these in years. But I actually grew up with Ikea meatballs because the kids' meals here are like two bucks. So that's how my parents fed me growing up. Cheap Ikea meatballs. I do not remember what that tasted like. I hate to put it this way, but it tastes just like an Ikea meatball. It is very soft. It is moist. Definitely not straight beef. You get a light seasoning in it. Oh wow. So that cabbage, incredibly rich. Definitely likes to put oil in there. A little bit of vinegar brings out the acidity and kind of the, the, which balances the bitterness of the cabbage, especially when it's cooked. And I think they got raisins in it. And some winter spices. That's actually really, really good. I'm definitely impressed by that cabbage. Quite rich, surprisingly rich, but let's try some potatoes, like you said. Cooked in a heavy cream. Mm. Honestly, so it tastes like a hash brown with a kind of cream or like almost bechamel style sauce. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Try this dill cured salmon. This is this looks amazing. This is just straight salmon, guys. Dill on it. Oh man, that's just a delicious bite of salmon. The dill is undoubtedly the strongest flavor. And that dill sauce, it has some zest to it, kind of like orange zest. I did just eat a mouthful of mustard. Not bad. I'm gonna see what Sparks my fancy here now. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor of this video being manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand which is now disrupting the beard market. This is the beard hedger, just used it, works really well. So I just got the Manscaped beard hedger, seriously a great way to level up your beard game. So you can throw away your old beard trimmer with a thousand attachments, this one's all in one. Like literally, look at this adjustable head, it's all one piece, super convenient. It is a powerful 7200 RPM motor and titanium coated T-blades, which cut through hair in a single stroke. It's waterproof, rechargeable, cordless. It has 20 different settings. So whether you want big beard, little beard, no beard, 
this is it. Manscape also created a whole bunch of dermatologist tested beard care products to help you grow and nourish your magnificent beard, such as their beard oil with sweet almond, sunflower seed, and jojoba seed oil. The Beard Hedger Kit Pro actually includes not only the beard hedger, but also a beard shampoo, beard conditioner, beard oil, beard balm, a travel case, and some free gifts, such as a beard brush, a beard comb, and beard scissors. So whether you're just starting out on your beard journey or looking to upgrade the beard game, the Beard Hedger and Beard Hedger Pro Kit is definitely the way to go. So go to manscaped.com and use promo code Joel H to get 20% off and free shipping. Yes, that's right, 20% off and free shipping. And it's even free international shipping, so you can join over 8 million men who trust Manscaped today. All right, and I did confirm with the lovely Swedish couple beside me, the potatoes do not have anchovies in them, but traditionally they do. So I think they, they kind of tailored to be a little more North American, you know? Um, but what I got, I got a whole bunch of the uh, cured dill salmon. I did try the dill pickled herring. Actually, very nice flavor, and the mustard herring. Mm. Ooh, that one was strong. Got some of their uh, potato salad. Tastes pretty standard. And I got some of the shrimp dill salad they have up there. Basically shrimp in a dill mayonnaise sauce. Very basic. Can't wait to get that salmon. I really like that cured salmon. And here I got two pieces of the cooked salmon, mustard, or Christmas ham. I have more of the cabbage. And I got some of my lovely pickled cucumbers. The dill in that's very nice. There's definitely a bit of like a pepper on it. And it's quite sharp and very crispy. There might be clove in it. Or that flaky cooked salmon. I will say the salmon is definitely moist and cooked quite cooked nicely. A little bit of lemon on it, but just a good taste of salmon. Yeah, whatever is in this cabbage, definitely clove. A lot of winter spices, it's very, very rich. Surprisingly rich. And it's a cooked pickled cabbage, which is interesting. I like it a lot, but definitely not calorie free the way they're doing it here. It is oily. So on that bite of the outside, the sort of that crust I got on that ham, that bite, I got some cinnamon. A little bit of spice. So the place. And if you've never been to Ikea, they're actually keeping the same dining rules for the dining room being, when you're done with your plates, you return them to a tray kiosk, which is pretty cool. But, Salmon. I think that salmon's my favorite so far. I love cured salmon. It's kind of like a sushi in a way. Let me know if you like salmon down below. They definitely do a little bit of oil in the marinade too, but it's super basic, super simplistic. Man, no complaints. Got myself a decaf. And some of their diet soda. I actually like the flavor of it. It's very um, bitter compared to like a normal Coke. Let's see what else we got to have before we check out dessert. Got a bit more. Admittingly, uh, it's quite a limited selection. The only thing I didn't try is they do have, for the kids, chicken fingers and french fries. I'm not going to. I mean, it's chicken fingers and french fries. That being said, we will get desserts after this. I got a little bit more of the pumpkin sauce just by itself, so I am going to try that because, like I said before, I couldn't really taste pumpkin, and the chef or the cook agreed with me. 
I do get like, it's almost more like a butternut squash, like sauce, I guess. I mean, that's why I put it. A rich butternut squash. Not bad. Just, you know, nothing special. I do get some of that beef salad. Very fresh. Let me know if you like pickled beets down below. It's definitely an acquired flavor. Well, I do like it. Like I said, very rich with that mayonnaise. Or that lovely salmon. Ooh. That one was hot and fresh. Very good. But I will say, it's pretty much turned to a night of salmon. Because each one of these rolls I got, look how much there actually is. These are giant pieces. Like these are a couple ounces each. So, cucumber, dill, and salmon. My favorite items for tonight. That was a huge piece. Definitely oily. Try dill sauce. It is nice. A little bit of mustard in it helps cut some of the oil they use on the salmon. I need to check the dessert. There isn't really much else to try. The last of that cured salmon I just have was on new tray. It was incredibly oily. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I want any more of it. A little bit of oil is a good addition, but too much. Let's go see what dessert is. All right, so we have dessert. So I got a strawberry shortcake. We have this kind of weird chocolate cake. We got a chocolate ball, which is pretty traditional. It's like oats, a cocoa, um, and then we have a kind of a uh, marzipan with a little bit of chocolate. Then I got some rice pudding with almond. My ancestry is Danish, so we call it Riz Alamand, or you know, like rice pudding, however you want to call it. But I'll probably start with the rice pudding because it's all oh, very like common across a lot of cultures. I'm glad I started with that. It's not very sweet. A little bit of cinnamon. Not super creamy in flavor, but in texture, very creamy. Try this strawberry shortcake kind of thing. Looks pretty good. That is full fat, but it tastes just like a standard strawberry shortcake. You get anywhere, sponge cake, cream topping. Let's try this little chocolate cake here. This is really good. Looks like it's layered. Looks like we got some nice flaky bits. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Great chocolate flavor. Coconut, nuts. There's some crispy, almost like Rice crispy bits in it. That is a keeper. You know what that reminds me of? Have you ever had one of their, um, the little like almost uh, score chocolate bars they, serve, they, they sell at Ikea's? I think they're called like Danes or Danes or something. Try this chocolate ball. Kind of like the lady told me, oatmeal, it's not cooked, it's not baked. There is definitely, like it says, some chocolate in it. There is rum, it is very rum flavored. Not overly sweet, and it's not a bad thing, but 
definitely the, the rum and the chocolate is made for The marzipan, covered in chocolate. That's what it's all about. Mm. Woo! Oh man. So I think it's just marzipan outside. The uh, lovely Swedish lady told me it's marzipan. But beautiful almond marzipan flavor. That inside, I actually think it's the same inside as in that chocolate ball, but in this one they get much more rum flavor. Mm. And the addition of that almond, woo! Actually, so that's my favorite right there. Try to just get a little bite. Yeah, that almond, that large band there, cross section. Very good. This one's very, very sweet too. I like sweet, so very sweet, very delectable. All right, and this is gonna be it, really. There's nothing really else to have. The last uh, item I got really is the roasted potato that I didn't try yet. It's salted. Ooh. Very heavy oil, salt. There is a bit of a spice on it. Kind of reminds me of rosemary, but I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure what it is. That's more of the cooked salmon. I really like this. This is just a cooked salmon with lemon. This is a big piece, but definitely got the protein for the day. Nice and flaky. Everything that they offered here. I think it's traditionally like on the menu. So, with the exception of the ham, I think there's a jewel board exclusive. And the desserts, and the cheeses, and these potatoes, I don't think you're normally offered, but the rest of it pretty much is. But that about is pretty much it. My favorite items today, with that cooked cabbage, very, very nice. They're just super heavy, but lovely winter spice in it. Nice bit of sweetness, like I said, definitely some sugar, maybe even raisins. Cucumber salad's not bad. There's just no other real vegetable options. We didn't try the potatoes. Potatoes, uh, the cooked ones are good with the cream, but it's basically hash brown cream sauce. Pickled beet sauce was really good. Pure gel sap was good, so. I mean, lunch for sure, my favorite item. Cooked cabbage. The cured dill salmon, although the last one is super oily, kind of turned me off of it. And the cooked salmon. So basically salmon and cucumbers and dill. They like, like their dill, that's for sure. Um, I actually like the pickled herring, that was good. And that Mars pet dessert. Muy bien, very, very good. So that one, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time. Say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it. So, have a lovely day. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. You are one of the real ones. So you get to benefit, because we're gonna try two drinks that we didn't try in the main video because I was saving it for you guys who made it to this end. So if you did, please like the video, comment down below, and uh, let me know what you think of Ikea, if you've ever been here. Let's just say it's kind of like a bit of a maze, <laughs> not gonna lie, they have you know, definitely some display areas, and then, uh, well, lots of actual product areas. But anyway, this is the mulled Christmas drink they have, so it is warm. Um, people said it's kind of like the mix between a wine, mix between a cider. And then we're gonna have to find our way out of here. So let's give it a shot. Ooh, ooh, very, very, ooh, really good, wow. Mm, very sweet. It's very cranberry, that's what it is. So I call this like a warm cranberry juice with lots of sugar, so it's not um, bitter like a normal cranberry juice and then lots of winter spices lots of clove 
some cinnamon. I like that a lot. It's, it's definitely like a, I call it like a cranberry apple cider in a way. And then we have the Winter Saga, which is a hops and malt flavored carbonated drink. Apparently kind of like a Coca-Cola, but spicy. And at your table, you're supposed to be um, given one of these. I actually had to ask for it, but yeah, this was part of the buffet admission, one of these bottles. Ooh. So, if you've ever had a black cherry soda, this is 100% black cherry soda. That's the scent I'm getting. Yeah, like black cherry soda. No if, ends, or buts. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, it does not taste like black, black cherry soda. So now, interestingly enough, I should have tried this one first, because that one's very sweet, despite being cranberry. This is very bitter. This is not that sweet. You get a little, 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 little bit of winter spice. Yeah, and the ingredients are just flavorings. So I get almost like, it's kind of reminiscent of a Coca-Cola. But imagine just a not sweet Coca-Cola and almost a bitter Coke. So it's like a bitter Coca-Cola. I don't get hops. I can understand where the malt kind of comes in a little bit, but I describe like a bitter Coca-Cola with a little bit of clove, nutmeg, and maybe a little cinnamon on the aftertaste. So interesting. So as I try to find my way out of here, <laughs> like I said, it's a maze. Really, let me know if you ever got lost in Ikea. I would say, Jules Board, what did I actually think of it? And when in doubt, you know, follow the signs, right? Follow the exit. Um, this is kind of like the exit through the gift shop kind of idea, because you got to walk through everything. <sighs> okay, so it was 20 bucks, like 19.99. Um, I would say for the value of it, I feel like I've gotten better value at other places. Just the selection was just very, very, very limited. I will say in regards of pretty much everything that I just tried was good. There wasn't anything I did not like, um, but similar to uh, my, well, this was my hunch, but this was confirmed by the Swedish couple beside me. They said like, you know, the, a lot of the food is very kind of, let's call it Americanized or uh, maybe more washed down or you know made a little less neutral you know like for example like the potato dish was supposed to have um anchovies it obviously did not um you know i feel like probably some of the flavors should have been stronger so it was very it was it was made to suit all palates which is not bad but it was essentially just like eating at ikea so if you want to just eat at ikea then it's all you can eat ikea food uh, the only, again, real, there's not that many special, special items. The majority of it was kind of their standard fare. Not saying that's a bad thing, but I don't think I would go again. But I enjoyed my time. I'm glad I went to try the items. It was cool to try the Swedish cuisine. But even though this is arguably one of the most, let's say, rare, uh, difficult, exclusive buffets being literally offered one day a year with a limited seating, um, you know, a limited capacity, having to buy tickets well in advance, you know, etc. That's my take on it. But if you ever ate at the Jewel board down below, let me, uh, you know, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought of it. And uh, I got no other words, so I appreciate you guys. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.